Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Cricut project. So today I am working on a fun little 4th of July project. I'm going to be putting iron on on white napkins to go on my 4th of July table. I decided out of the blue to do a 4th of July table this year because my red gladiolus were in bloom and then a windstorm knocked them all over. I'd cut them and bring them inside and I was like, this is the perfect excuse to do a 4th of July table with red, white, and blue flowers. Um, but I don't actually do a lot of red, white, and anything. Um, I'm a pink and rose gold girl. And so I was like, what can I do for decor that will work and be very inexpensive and easy to make? So I am going to be doing some uh, pinwheels for drink stirs and the centerpiece. And I will link that down below and some napkins. So I figured two little Cricut designs that I can whip up with things I already have iron on and some napkin blanks from the dollar store that are like $4. Maybe it was Walmart. I'll put a link below. And, uh, and there you go. Inexpensive decor. We didn't have to break the bank to make. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Cricut design space. I haven't even picked SVGs for this project yet. We're literally going to go into Cricut access and just see what we like. And then we're going to make some napkins. It's going to be great. I'm very excited. <laughs> let's hit, let's open the computer and get started. <laughs> okay. So now that we are in Cricut design space, we are going to go ahead and search for 4th of July. Dun, 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 dun. They have quite a few different, uh, pretty designs here. We are going to find one to pop on. This one has a little dachshund. That's so cute. Um, anyways, I'm getting distracted. I'm going to find one to put on our napkins. Now, I had found one I liked pretty easily last night, but I'm not seeing it now. There's my wreath I made. I'll link that down below. That was a fun, fun week. It's a beautiful wreath, but it does take a minute to cut out all of those rosettes. with all the dogs. I like this one where it says 4th of July. I'm going to bookmark this one. I'm going to go ahead and look through and see if there's anything I like better. I'll be right back found plenty of designs and while I did like the original one we found I decided I don't really want to make a napkin that just says happy 4th of July I'd rather do one of these kind of 4th of July themed pieces without it being necessarily overtly happy 4th of July so I found this happy 4th of July design and I went to this gal, Lillian Pixel SVG, and looked through all of her designs. And we are going to go ahead and make four different napkins that all coordinate. So the two uh, USA, Fireworks and Freedom, and good old Happy Fourth of July to round it out simply because I really like this design the best but it's a little busy for a napkin. I like these simpler designs since they're going to be fairly small decals. So this would be great for a sign. Maybe we'll make a sign later, but for now we are going to go ahead and add these to a canvas. And then we will size them and get them ready to roll. There we go. All 
right, so let's see what we're working with. The other benefit of using designs like these that were all made by the same gal is that they should all use the same colors, meaning they should cut out of the same pieces without me having to go in and rework the designs. She does have quite a bit grouped, which makes sense. We are going to see. I can either make these designs four inches wide or five inches wide and fold my napkins a little bit bigger. Let's see what four inches looks like. going to be very tiny weeding like fireworks and freedom is barely two inches yeah. let's see did it make everything four inches because I want each thing individually to be four inches Yeah, so let's let's fix that. We want each of these to be four inches. That's better. Working through problems with Betsy. Problems I made for myself. All right. Make it. I keep clicking make it to see how it's arranging these things on the mats and what sizes they're cutting it just is the way my brain works so you can see now this guy is almost three and a half inches that's a much better size and we're still working with a few too many colors so we're gonna need to figure that out but working it's working so Let's make all of our blues the same blue and all of our reds the same red and then all of our blacks can be the same black this first blue make the lettering black first blue perfect make sure our reds are all the same so second red first blue this should be black Perfect. make these stars black since we're going to use our darker blue for the actual uh, map outline. As long as these colors are matching up, we're good to go. And if they aren't, we will have to come back. really go through and make sure they're the same color codes so moment of truth do we have three mats or three colors on more than one mat all right black red and blue that's what we wanted so we are good to go now we can click cut 
and continue. So right now these are four inch designs. So like four inches across. We'll go ahead and cut these. If they're a little too small to really read and, and weed, then we'll up them to five inches, but I'd like to keep the napkins at that four inch crease mark if possible. All right, connect our maker. We are just using iron on for this. Everyday iron on, I believe, but I will double check. All of these are iron on, so we need to make sure that all three mats are mirrored. says mirror off even though it's showing mirror on here I think it's just an error because it's it's telling me to make sure mirror is turned on all right there all right let's go ahead and cut the block and uh, double check that the mirror is on we're good to go with more pressure fine point blade and load that material into our Cricut. We are using Sports Flex Iron On for our other two, so we'll select Sports Flex Iron On. Mirror should be turned on. You can see the designs are mirrored. And more pressure, so we're good to go. Let's head over to our Cricut machine and cut these three mats. All right, so we are all good to go. I did get out the black iron on, and then I remembered I had this glitter iron on which I thought would be perfect so we're going to do our words with this silver it should show up just fine on our napkins and our napkins are simply a set of white napkins I grabbed from Walmart for a couple bucks perfect for customizing and then we have a red foil iron on and a blue sports flex so these should make very pretty 4th of July designs. I am very excited. Let's go ahead. I've already cut out our, uh, our gray. You always want to make sure you're putting your iron on carrier sheet down. So face down. We are cutting into the back of the material, which is why we have to mirror it. So that shiny, shiny, pretty glitter side, face down. We'll load it into our machine. All right, let's load it in. And hit start. Since this is not everyday iron on, I did go back and select glitter iron on from the drop down menu.
All right. Looks good so far. Now we will go ahead and start weeding this baby. You can take it off the mat or you can leave it on, whatever you prefer. You don't really need to curl your mat away from your material with vinyl or iron on, but just a good habit to get into. It's very important with cardstock. Could be wrong, but I believe short of stars up here. Yep, there's a star. We have quite a bit of unused material, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Gonna just start to weed. So to weed your material, you're gonna find edge. You find it. Find an edge. It's easier with a. Uh, my bright pad or even my Cricut 360 turned on. Glitter vinyl, like white vinyl, is very hard to weed because it's so hard to see those cut lines. There we go. Start to weed it away from those letters. You mainly want to go slow so you don't rip anything. weed it all the way across. I will be back. I'm going to go ahead and weed this, cut our red and our blue vinyl and weed those. And then I will be back to show you how to put them onto our napkins. This is all the same, just more of it. All right. I've got everything weeded and organized according to which design it goes with. So we're going to get started with our first napkin. And our first design, which is going to be the fireworks and freedom design. So when you're doing layered iron on, you have a few options. First option is like we've done with our and in that glitter vinyl here is to cut the carrier sheet and to put it together. You can see the carrier sheet is literally just stuck on to the larger carrier sheet and they're layered. The iron-on in both cases will touch our uh, design here and that will be fine. You don't want to layer too many carrier sheets because then your heat will have more carrier sheets to go through. Then when it comes to our second way, it is simply to do two different presses. So in this design, we will center this guy, press him on, take the carrier sheet off, and then add our stars. When we're doing two different layers, we just want to make sure that our iron-on, the hot iron, never touches any exposed iron-on. So say I was doing um, with this design, when we press this guy, we don't want, when we press this guy, to go over all of this. That won't end well. <laughs> the iron-on on exposed uh, heat will shrivel and it'll get scorched and burned. And so you always wanna protect it with a carrier sheet, freezer paper. I actually have a special little sheet that I use from Cricut. I'll probably have to grab it. And that protects your design. So we are going to get started by preheating this. And basically that means we are going to smooth out those wrinkles. Take this side. No, I like 
this side. We'll do this side. So since we are using three different materials, I looked up the heat requirements for all three. Our blue Sports Flex iron-on asks for 305. Our red foil iron-on asks for 310. And our silver glitter iron-on asks for 330. So we're gonna go right in the middle at 310 with multiple presses. All three should be fine. But if we need a little bit more heat for that glitter iron-on, and we'll roll with that. For now, we are going to start by finding the center of whoop, fireworks, which is right on the middle. And we come four up. Now we're going to come three up on the bottom. We're going to line this baby up centered. All right, perfect. Let's press it down. Make sure you're holding down even pressure for the full 30 seconds. Go ahead and move this guy over just a little bit and start working on the next one because it is usually best to let them cool down in between layers. Cool peel. Right. We'll keep working on this inside portion. It seems to be a little smoother and wrinkler free, which is always the goal. All right, let's do our home design. So again, my fingers up, centered. Remember when you're doing this bottom design that just because this guy's centered, we also need to take into account the, the second, third layers, anything that's going to be on that design and make sure that the whole thing is centered. So in this case, you know, this guy is our main thing that needs to be centered, but say this design came all the way out here, and then this would be the center, not this. Give it a second. This guy should be good to peel now. Let's see. Yep. Red's looking good. When we get to that glitter iron on in the middle, we'll make sure that it's good. It appears to be. Perfect. Now I can tell that the carrier sheet on that and is still down, so we gotta pull that up. Oh, that looks nice. Oh. All right, so. 
looking at my design and I've got my computer open with the, the design up over there as well. Get this guy situated how he's supposed to be. That looks good. And you can see that the carrier sheet is covering all of the iron-on. So we're good to go with pressing this guy. All right, so we'll go ahead, do another 30 seconds. These are gonna look so good on my table. The problem with doing four designs is that unless one is just your standalone favorite, <laughs> I always have to pick which one do I want at the front of the table. <laughs> and we could have just done one design four times, but you know, they're cute. I wanna do four. Definitely would have been easier to do one design, you know, pick the simplest one to cut and go from there. I never do anything easy. I never do anything smart. Okay, I'm not gonna go that far, but you know. I always take the hard way out. All right, come on, blue. Perfect. Looking good, looking good. All right, so let's go ahead and, well, I don't know. Let's so say we should let's cut this down a little bit because we should be able to do at least the stars at the same time maybe. All right, so layering iron on. Let's get this guy right in the right position. Oh, that's gonna look nice. do the red stars with the red iron on. So for these, it goes this way. We just need to make sure that the iron on is touching. Honestly, we're gonna just cut these out. We need to make sure that the iron-on is touching fabric and not the carrier sheet for this guy. So this is going to leave iron on exposed. So let me grab my little carrier sheet. Permanent carrier sheet. It's a protective sheet. Dun, 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 dun. And we will press this guy.
right. Perfect. I'm going to push this aside, let it cool down. Take off our carrier sheet for this guy. And this will be the last step for this one. All right, so we're going to start pulling in the corner, which I already did to take a picture and then work our way across, making sure that everything is pushed down. This little star doesn't seem to be stuck quite enough. Let's see. Got a couple things there that aren't quite stuck, so we're just gonna put a little more heat on them. Let's see if that helps. The other thing we can do is while they're still hot, make sure we're pushing those pieces down. All right, is that any better? There we go, that's what we like to see. Perfection, fireworks and freedom. That is really cute. So they're gonna look super cute on my table. I have to crease the tops of these with my iron, aren't I? Don't worry, easy press is multifunctional. Don't get your iron on. All right, napkin one finished. Let's see if this guy's ready to come off. Yeah, that red uh, foil iron on, whoo, it's, it's transferring beautifully. New favorite of the day. Yeah. All right, so we've still got stars and stripes. these close. And for some reason, this star layer happened with the other design as well. This star layer and this star layer are the same color, cut them out of the same iron on. But they weren't welded, so they cut in two pieces. If I had realized that when I did this design, I would have welded these same with this layer for the happy 4th of July. This could have easily been welded, would have saved me a lot of iron on and a lot of headache when it comes to applying these. So if you're doing this project, might I recommend you do that? All right, that looks right. Now let's get our stars in place. Yep, 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 yep. And you can see there's just a little bit here and there that is not covered. So we're gonna use our full protective sheet again. Going to pull this down so we can crease the top. All right. <laughs> there 
30 seconds. Lots of pressure. go Let's see what we got Let's see if we can't pull this back off right away or if we need to let it cool yeah it's good I thought this might be because the stars are so thick that usually makes a difference voila oh that one's cute I don't know that might be my favorite All right, y'all, it is the same process for the other two, so I'm gonna go ahead and do those off camera, and I will be back to show you the final sexy shots. 